University of Toronto is Jazdeep Sagar. Uh, she's doing a PhD in medical biophysics, supervised by Professor Ian Tanak. Uh, her presentation title is Hypoxia Activated Prodrugs, a Novel Approach for Breast Cancer Treatment. So very good afternoon to you all. My name is Jazz, and the focus of my PhD is on chemotherapy and hypoxia-activated prodrugs in the tumor microenvironment. As you're all well aware of, unfortunately, breast cancer is still a major cause of death and disability in women. Chemotherapy is frequently given, but what can occur over time is that the tumor can develop a resistance and treatment will fail. But in order to better understand this process, we really need to understand the role of the tumor microenvironment. So if you'll join me in imagining that a solid tumor is quite similar to a ball that's packed with many abnormally dividing cells, nourished with blood vessels. And if we were to zoom in on just one blood vessel and some of the surrounding cells, we would come up with something similar to what I've depicted here on screen. So in red, we have that blood vessel. And immediately beside it is a group of cells that are richly nourished with blood, which is basically a combination of oxygen and nutrients. Because of this, the cells closest to that blood vessel are extremely well fed, so they're growing quite quickly or proliferating. But if you move farther away from that blood vessel, you enter regions where cells have a reduced nutrient content. They have a low pH, which means they're living in an acidic environment because the blood's not getting here. And on top of all that, those cells out there are barely breathing because they don't get enough oxygen, and that's what's known as hypoxia. Due to all of these factors out here, the cells farther away are barely dividing or growing. Chemotherapy enters that blood vessel and it's very good at actively targeting and killing rapidly dividing cells. So those cells closest to the blood vessel, they get wiped out. Unfortunately, cells that are farther away survive chemotherapy treatment because they don't receive enough drug. Chemotherapy is typically delivered in a three three-week cycle, and that's to allow for a patient's normal body tissues to recover. So for example, the bone marrow, hair follicles. It's in between those periods of rest of chemotherapy that the cells that were formerly farther away now have an increased access to both oxygen and nutrients. Remember, because those other guys got wiped out. And that stimulates these guys to start dividing, and they therefore regrow or repopulate the tumor, leading to chemotherapy treatment failure. So the focus of my work then is working on how to combat this problem of chemotherapy treatment failure using hypoxia-activated prodrugs. And these are called prodrugs because they're administered to the tumor through that very same blood vessel in an inactive form. And they are only activated in the hypoxic area. And when they're activated, they kill that tumor tissue. So what I found is that when you combine chemotherapy with hypoxia-activated prodrugs, you increase tumor cell death, and that leads to maximum treatment efficacy and therapeutic outcome. Thank you very much.